You ever been so passionate? You ever put in so much work and still don't get the results that you wanted? Yeah, <laughs> same. Sometimes life be life and you might get hit with a curveball thinking it's all over. Cause I know I did. I thought my career was over with. For someone to come back from that type of injury, it's crazy. America, we just watched one of the most dominant young talent here in Auburn says Cam Newton possibly just play his last snap of football. Braxton Banks, I'm praying for you, brother. Imagine coming in as a five-star recruit, dominating the first moment you touch that field. And after a few weeks, you tear your MCL, ACL, PCL. And the doctors tell you that your career is over with? It's a low chance that you might fully recover? Nah, I couldn't take that as an answer. I had a great support system from my mom and dad. I had a great physical therapist. Even though I wasn't mentally ready, I took a whole season off. After getting that surgery, I wasn't ready to touch a football. But I had to get back in that gym. I had to shed that weight, get back in shape. And I can't even lie. I felt better than ever, bro. I felt like I was getting back to my old self. Like physically, I was there. But mentally, it was still a struggle. So I asked coach, reached out. He let me run up the practice squad and I was out throwing dots. Now it was late in the season, the team was doing awful. So they had, you know, space for me to do what I do best, bro. And just to make plays. And right there, it should have been a catch. I can't even lie. Like, I was making the right reads, making the right plays. And look at this pass. Oh my goodness, what is that? We call that accuracy, right? <laughs> I'm feeling myself more than ever. Even though my muscle memory is still not there just yet. With a little bit more time and preparation, I was going to be back 100%. I felt good. I'm proud of myself. I beat the odds. And for the star QB that got benched, let him know. The boy is back. Let, let, me, let me talk for a second. Let me talk for a second. You mean to tell me that kid, Braxton Banks, career any injury, that brother coming back from a torn MCL, ACL, LLC and Eleven OP, just coming back to Auburn to play football. The same football that had him down for the last two years. Now it's just blasphemous. Now this series was inspired by my dog No Cap Shaq and my dog YG the Beast, you feel me? And it also was inspired by me playing throwback Madden games. Now this is the Bills 6-2. I switched them to 6-3 later on, but I mean, let me tell you what I'm talking about, bro. I was playing Madden 06 and I was looking like, bro, this is so fire. You choose your parents, your parents kind of determine what type of build your player was and like the genetics you was going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it makes so much sense, but I don't know. I updated it my way. My dad was a, a QB himself. My mother was a track star, you feel me? But anyways, man, we got to finish up the last four games of the season because QB1 got benched and I'm back here to take my job. You did. Oh yeah, man, shout out to all the Madden modders from the Madden community, bro. Shout out to y'all, bro, because it wasn't for y'all, could not make this happen. The only reason this series is delayed is because Madden keep patching me, bro. When they drop that patch, I can't record no more, bro. But back to the folks of the story. I missed the last two seasons starting off my career, my freshman year, amazing. You cannot tell me that I was not on pace to become a Heisman. 312 yards per game, 13 TDs, two interceptions, 69% passing, bro. 69% completion? Come on, man. You got to put some respect on my name. Don't forget it. Braxton Banks cashed me in. Anyways, trying to get back back to game motion, back into game shape. Going up against Mississippi State. It's going to be a very interesting game. Because I ain't been in this motion in so long, handing the ball off to my running back, Austin, even though we got a three-man running back system. It's going to be tough to figure out who's going to be that guy. With seniors getting ready to graduate, team in shambles, record is trash. I got to put the game in my hands. I'm right there scrambling for the first attempt, getting 13 yards on that rush right there. You love to see it. Because when I get back in that scrambling bag, it's going to be a problem. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> Getting pressure off the snap right there, bro. Third and 13, losing all those yards. Got to make up for it. Drop back in the four verticals. Dotting the tight end right there. Picking up a first down. It's like my first completion back on the field, man. It's starting to feel good. I'm getting ready for the pace of the game. I'm already getting confident. They can see me on the sidelines. I'm in my bag, scrambling, getting that first down already. You know what I'm saying? Going all the way, picking up extra yards, moving the chains. I'm in my bag. I know Coach already see it, bro. I'm getting animated on the field. I'm out here dotting on the cutback routes, getting first downs, man. Oh, my goodness, bro. Off the play action. Moving outside the pocket. Motion. Still going. Tucking the ball in. Trying to get a touchdown. And I'm stepping down. <laughs> I stepped out, bro. Breaking the sack right No, not, not the sack. But breaking the tackle right there, bro. Almost getting a touchdown myself. Even though they did answer right back. Because, you know, if you paid attention, you know what I'm saying? They went for it on fourth down. We went up seven and they came right back. But look at that pass. It was a little floaty. Too much air on it. But, you know, my tight end went up and got it. You know what I'm saying? Put it where he can get it. Because if you guys don't know, when I came back from my injury, I do not have no badges no more. That gunslinger is not there. Look at that dot. Right there connected with my man's getting inside the goal line. You know what I'm saying? First and five. You know what type of time we on. Running that option play. Didn't hand it off to my fullback. Tucked it in. Got my touchdown. Yes, sir. I am back. <laughs> what Cam say? I'm back. <laughs> Bro, this is Bill is so inspired by Cam Newton. That's why I came to Auburn. Because they don't have the best weapons either. So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm Cam Newton. You feel me? But anyways, handing the ball off right there. Trying to move the chains. I'm running back, fighting for some yards. Picking up five-plus yards on that attempt. Second and four. Jumping back. Decided to scramble. Tucking the ball in. Fight. Oh, my goodness. Look at the juke. Fighting for these yards. I do have 106 yards plus on this game. And dotting over the top. Hey, <laughs> Found him on running back, not on the wheel route, but on a little seam type of route, you feel me? So, anyway, as we move in the chains on the 20-yard line, your boy ended up getting sacked as I did not have time to connect with my tight end that was wide open in the corner pocket. I am sick. So, on second and 23, time still ticking. And you know, we lost a couple yards on that play. Decided to run that ball and make up a couple yards just in case the kicker has to get the go-ahead field goal, which is pretty smart, man. Make it easier on your kicker. But with it being third and 14, I was here to make a big play. As I broke the pocket, see my man coming across. I'm under pressure throwing passes like a Mike Vick. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that pass. Nah, like you got to see this instant replay, dog. Like, like, nah, nah, rewind that, bro. Somebody got to show the replay. Like under pressure, got hit and everything. It's a seven on my jersey for a reason. Looking like Mike Vick out here, bro. Quit playing with me. And of course, the defense did hold it down as we walk out victorious. Kneeling the ball out. Winning my first game coming back 24 to 17. You love to see it, man. If you love to see it, smash the like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff. We're going to hop to the next one. As North Carolina is one of the top ranked teams in the country. I don't see them backing down from nothing, bro. I don't care that they don't respect me or if they do respect me. I'm here to play football and I'm here to win, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, them boys came out swinging. Putting up seven points instantly, which is kind of crazy. So, we try to use the running game. It's a run game. It's looking beautiful off the first snap. Beyond saying, picking up seven yards for my dog, Hunter, who's been killing it in practice, bro. Making a lot of big plays, doing his thing. And right there, picking up the first down, bro. Safety first. Let me slide real quick. And I tried to use my favorite route, the cutback route, and threw a pick. I was, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, the fact that I didn't, I don't even know, bro. Like, the fact that I did not notice that he had the corner plan underneath, safety over the top. Why would I force a pass and double coverage? That was terrible, bro. That was a terrible read. And right here, bro, first and 10. Got nowhere to go with the ball. Decided to go with the dump down to my running back right here. Picked up a yard or two. This Carolina defense was something different. Coaches out here making some decent calls, but, like, they was out here running this incredible scheme. I mean, sending the middle linebacker up the middle for the blitz. I was under, <laughs> I was under all types of pressure, bro. It was third and 16. Third and 16 at this point, bro, I had to just break the pocket. They were just getting through our offensive line. It was embarrassing. Picking up 20-plus yards on that scramble right there was feeling great. My legs still work, but I can get it in my bag. So first and 10, on the 48-yard line, right? Play action. They didn't really fall for it, but me. 
had to test my arm, threw it deep, and my man lost him. Not one, but two people, and took it to the end zone. Let's go. That is the success of having a big target on your team. He might not be the fastest, but he gets up. <laughs> like, I don't have the best weapons on this team. But the fact that he has a height advantage, most two men, broke loose, ran up the sideline for the end zone, and got the tutty? That's a round of applause for that pass, bro. A round of applause for a better catch. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I had to make a... We had to make a play. We had to make a play right there, man. But once again, you already know North Carolina doing what they do, bro. Just trashing our defense. As we head into the fourth quarter with eight minutes and ticking, I might run into four verticals. Trying to dot my tight end, nothing was there. Breaking up pockets, scrambling, fighting for the first down right there. I don't know why I took the risk. I could have fumbled. But it's cool, man. We got to fight. I'm not giving up, man. I got to show coach. I got the poise in me. You feel me? Terrible read. Throwing deep into my amazing. It was incomplete. I was going for the home run pass. Had a wide open tight end, but I seen him a little bit too late. On fourth and three, team on my back. I had to make a read. Found my tight end on an extra plate, and it was good. Let's go. He had onto the ball, man. I mean, I'm out here passing terribly. Eight for 19, two interceptions, one tutty. We moving to change, though. On the 22-yard line, found my tight end with a connect. Right there, getting inside the two-yard line. You already know what type of time we on, man. We got to hand it out to my dog, Hunter, as he gets into the end zone, getting a tutty. I told y'all, the same efforts he's been showing at practice, he's been showing it in the game. That's why he's starting now. Like, we're making the progress. I know our season is pretty much over with. We had no chance of playing no type of bowl game. But we still got time to, you already know, build up this chemistry, see what holes that we have on the team roster, make these changes, make these adjustments right here. Making the connect with my tight end, but the pass is broken up. So it's been third and four, three minutes and ticking, dropping back, making my read. See my tight end come across that middle, wide open. Great hands. Nice way to tuck that ball in too, man. First and 10 with 2.44 left. Play action. Find my man in that corner pocket. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. We trying to find in the groove late in this game. It ain't over with. 2.40. Jumping back once again. Tight end over the top. Throwing it deep to my wide receiver. I believe that was a cover one zone. I don't know. Great pass, great placement. Put us on the goal line, third and goal, and I ain't gonna lie. The defense got to me, man. They ain't never getting a sack. <laughs> they got a sack. We're forced up to kick a field goal, making that one possession game, which is cool, but I wanted that touchdown so freaking bad. And I ain't gonna lie. Defense came through, gave us a chance, and put us in great position. As I had a chance to get the touchdown right there, I did not connect with my receiver. The same flaws I've been having, it definitely showed up at the wrong moment. I mean, I'm talking about my boy Hooks beat him off the line wide open. And I just happened to overthrow Hooks. He was wide open. Like, you would think that pass would be impossible to miss. And I did it. I told y'all my muscle memory, my deep ball accuracy is just not there right now. With losing all my abilities like Gunslinger, Deadeye, Unfazed, and a couple attributes that just impacted the game, bro. I mean, being away from the game of football for two years really showed in this game. I mean, I played terrible all around, bro. I'm surprised we was able to fight for this long. So that same week in practice, coach had me doing a couple drills. All deep passes, you feel me? I mean, no defense with defense. Defense, no defense. Wide receivers are tight ends. I was just trying to get my deep ball actually on point, And I still had a problem just overthrowing my guy. Now, I can be honest, like, we don't have the best receiver core. But I can't lie. They good enough to make some of these plays, like, right there. As you guys can see, pass was perfect. Because we don't have fast receivers. We kind of got, like, possession and deep ball threats. You know what I'm saying? They know how to jump up and get the ball, but they're not the fastest. I don't have a Tyreek Hill on the roster. But I tried my best, bro. <laughs> I really did, man. Just trying to get better every day. So we got here playing against Ole Miss, first time at home. We got to come out here victorious. And right there, as I get a great rush, I seen the flags hit the field. I already know what type of time they was on, bro. They was calling holding. I mean, if it was so wide open, I already knew it was coming, bro. I knew it was coming. I knew it was... Yeah. 
Anyway, with first and 19, didn't want to be too greedy. Hit a nice little dump down to my boy. I said dump down. Nice little dump down to my boy Hunter as he picked up four yards from the pickup right there. You already know, man. Just trying to move the chain. Second and 15. Got my mans going deep. Got my mans on a wheel route. As he was wide open, dotting my arm strength to get the ball there on time. So I broke the pocket. Ended up picking up the first down and something going crazy. Just split the defense as the safety came down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if he would have got that block on the safety, bro, I could have took that to the crib and got a tutty. But on the one yard line, nice little option play. Hunter getting to that end zone, getting a tutty. And we up. <laughs> we up, you feel me? First home game is feeling good, bro. You, you, you hear the crowd roaring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> War Eagle, you feel me? War Eagle. <laughs> nah, it, it's a little side joke because my, uh, my dog YG is an uh, Auburn fan and I always laugh at the little War Eagle chant. War Eagle! <laughs> So yeah, man, but with the game being 7-7, top of the second quarter, your boy broke that puck off the option, got a block, and he was out of here. Off to the races, off to the 10, the 5, the end zone. Touchdown. <laughs> Let's get right. I'm at my back. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the series so far, man, hit the like button, all that good stuff for your boy, man. It is 14 to 7. The defense came out there, shut them boys down. I'm in that pocket. Find my man 15 plus yards deep, picking up the first down, just moving these chains. Three for four from the field. I'm out here talking like it's football. I mean basketball. I'm, I'm, my mind is cooked right now, but look at the running back. Picking up the first down, that boy Batty. First rush, 15 yards. You already know what type of time he's on, man. Second and 10 on the 23-yard line. Dropping back in that pocket. Quick pass to the tight end. Off the nice little streak route, man. Paid up the first down. Getting into that red zone. You feel me? Five-yard line. Dropping back. Pressure is on. I end up getting sacked. <laughs> no man was open in that end zone. Didn't want to force a pass nowhere. Throw an interception. But with the third and goal situation, not going to lie. I put my legs to work as much as possible. Calling hot routes, trying to make some adjustments. Trying to see if I could defeat the zone play right there. And right there, pressure come off both edges. Throwing the ball up. As my man came back to the ball, picking it up on the one-yard line. I'm going to be honest. I don't know how he got that pass. But, yeah, <laughs> shout out to him. And I was like, you know what, coach? Let's go ahead and go for it. If we got that lucky, we might go ahead and go ahead and try to punch it in, man. Let's go ahead and punch it in with the inside zone right now. Hand out to my dog, Hunter, of course. AKA young Christian McCaffrey off the nice little halfback draw, get in the end zone. What a dive. Yes, sir. Get tutties. War Eagle. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't know, bro. I don't know nothing about Auburn for real, bro. I'm doing it for the content. You feel me? I'm doing it for the content. And if you guys are joining us, let me know down in the comments. It's right there. I'm getting sacked off the nice little option play right there. I had five rushes for 134. Sheesh. But we're trying to put these boys away as I drop back in that pocket. Quick pass. Exposing the zone defense as the safety did not pick up the man as he went down that seam route. You know what I'm saying? That's not a seam route. Streak route, seam route. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably saying it wrong, bro. Bear with me. Nice little option play. Hunter with the pickup. Picking up the first down and some. You know what I'm saying? On a 12-yard line. Now, as I got three wide outs in that tight end, I hike the ball, right? Go through my reads. Everything is covered. They in the crazy zone. They hunting me down, and I felt my man hooks. As I put it right in that pocket, you know what I'm saying? Throwing these dots. For that little wind does my man hooks. Just, you know what I'm saying? Expanding the play, putting the ball where it need to be. You feel me? <laughs> but I can't even lie, bro. I'm not surprised that, that that wasn't an interception. Coach probably didn't like that, but hey, man, I, I got to put these legs to work. As we did put the game away against Ole Miss, I'm feeling good. That was our first game at home, and I put it on for our fans, man. Well, this is my first game at home, but you guys understand what I'm saying. We got one more game on the schedule. The season coming to an end, and I just got to do this one more time, bro. I got to put on for the fans. Put on for the city. Let's get it. So the last week on our schedule, with no hopes of making the playoffs, no hopes of participating in the bowl game, we got Oregon. And this was a tough one, a tough situation, you feel me? Because Oregon came out there and put up a field goal immediately. <laughs> put the pressure on us as I dropped back in that play action, had a man open over the top, but I didn't trust my arm. And look at this. 
A great example is I'm out here throwing duckies. Wide open, man. I told. It's a lot. Look at that dot. Look at that dot. It's incomplete because it got broken up. But you guys got to understand, like, without Gunslinger, knowing I can get the pass out of my hands quickly as possible, without having the ball float so much, it's stressful. It is very stressful because you get that pass there a little bit too late. It's an incomplete or an interception. So right here, dropping back, first and 10. Final man over the top of the team route. And it is completed. First completed pass for 40 freaking yards, bro. 40 freaking yards getting to Oregon territory. I'm loving that, bro. Like, you, you see the pocket presence right there, man. My blockers did their thing. I was able to go through my reads. Find my man's off the little seam route, you know what I'm saying? Connected with the tight end once again. On third and 11, getting to the five-yard line, but we out here making plays off the play action, and I'm getting another tutty. Yes, sir. And I was kind of finding out, bro, like having these big targets, it's low-key a W, bro. It's high-key a W. You feel me? Like, I could put the ball in the air and they going to go get it. I just wish I had some type of speed receiver, nice little slot receiver that can, you know, split up the defense when it's needed. Beat the defense deep when we need, uh, you know what I'm saying, a deep ball threat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Your boy going to have a lot of recruiting this offseason. We're going to get some weapons, some young weapons on this team. For sure. Running back, we good. Receivers, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we going to have to make some changes around here. But it is what it is, man. This is the last game of the season, and we got to come out here with a dub. It's a drop back in that pocket. Thrown off my back leg, and it was a duck. <laughs> Once again. Imagine throwing a duck to a duck. A duck pass to an Oregon duck. Bro, I am sleep. <laughs> he was wide open, Chad. It was so, this is why I said I need gunslinger so I won't second guess my reads. I don't want to throw, I don't want to throw deep passes that be floating in the air, bro. So I gotta go back to what I know. Run the option play and getting caught right behind a line of scrimmage. Losing uh, just a yard. Just a yard. But I'm trying my best to just make a play right now. It's second and 11. Decided to hand out to my guy. Once again, my dog Hunter in that backfield. See what he can do, you feel me? Is he running through the hole, picking up some yards and some picking up that first down? He a beast. Oh yeah, put up that momentum. Decided to run the option play. Fake handoff, keeping it in, tucking it in. Almost breaking out for another touchdown, but he could not get the block, but we get the first down. Let's go. Hold on. We getting into motion now, chat. Jumping back in that pocket. Looking at my reads, tight end still covered. Breaking that pocket scramble. Going all the way off to the races. He's getting up getting. Getting to the one. We got to the one. <laughs> How did I do a celebration and walk out of bounds, bruh? And then turn around and fail the option play. I did not pick up my block in time. I know I was supposed to block. Man, whatever you want to call it, bro. I could have picked up that block and we could have got in the end zone. But on this play, second and goal. Leave a man's wide open. Yes, sir. Hey, it is what it is. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you know I'm saying my tight end got sauce, you feel me? <laughs> but yeah, man, right there taking a nice little one point lead over Oregon as they did come right back, kick another field goal, got the ball back, and got another field. You are you you, you guys understand, bro. I went three and out. I can't lie. I went three and out on that last possession, and now my back is against the wall once again. Two minutes and ticking. I'm dropped back in that pocket. End up getting my pass deflected. I can't even lie, bro. This defense is not the best, but they playing a damn sure good game. Is they in that cover two? It got exposed off the four verticals. Front of my man wide open for a catch. Just breaking down the defense, getting into the end zone. Coming up clutch. You feel me? <laughs> You love to see it, bro. I ain't second guess that time, bro. I went through my reads. I seen the, the, the um the corner play the uh the, the little I forgot what the zone called. It's a little blue zone where you just don't go deep at all. But anyways, man, he played the flats. You know what I'm saying? Leaving the safety having to decide between the tight end or the receiver. And he got there too late, bro. The pass was on the money. The pass was on the money. I know my, my football terminology is a little off in this video, but you know what I'm saying? You know, come some slack. But trying to go for the two-point conversion, and your boy threw another pick. <laughs> oh, my goodness, bro. I had to make sure he did not return that for two points, bro, because they would have got the lead, and we would have lost, and I would have been sick. But I can't say. 
for the first time in this entire game, the defense finally stepped up and kept these boys out of field goal range, and we won victorious, bro. For the last four games of the season, your boy went 3-1, and 2-0 and at home, you feel me? But you can't lie, this one hell of a comeback for somebody that was told that the career was over with. This is another example. Anytime life knocks you down, you got to get back up. Now, as far as the college playoffs, Miami ended up winning. I don't know how they did it, but they did. Doing a lot of my workouts, I do a lot of reflecting. The fact that I still came back from those injuries. The fact that I got over my mental breakdown and rose above all my problems. Well, until my problems found me once again because they keep putting my name in the media. Once again, life came at me fast. This is what I thought I was just staying to myself, staying unproblematic. Problems tend to find me. Yes, I hit rock bottom. Yes, I got back up on my feet. Yes, I worked a nine to five to pay some of these bills that I had. Y'all thought I had insurance that covered all my medical bills? Y'all thought my gym membership was free? It wasn't. During the off season, I had to make something happen. I had to put some extra money in my pocket. And no, I did not feel bad for myself. I'm over them days. I wouldn't wish them type of days on my worst enemy. Them was just terrible. I was really helpless in a wheelchair thinking my football career was over with. And I came back from that. But the fact I'm back on my feet, back mobile as I always have been, feeling 100%, can't take nothing from me. So this whole entire off season, I was standing in the gym, working on my craft, being better than I have ever been. Academically, amazing. 3.5 GPA. Physically, 110%. I was so mentally locked in, I don't think nobody can take me out of my zone at this point. I'm about to go crazy. Because even during training camp, I worked on a lot of my weaknesses. My snaps, my drops, my releases, everything needed to be worked on. Even things that I felt like I was good at, had to get sharper. You feel me? Ball placement was a big thing for me, especially in pocket composure. Feeling the pressure and still getting the ball where it needed to be, not showing panic in that pocket when the pressure is applied, it's something you can't even coach out there. But I was gonna put in the work regardless. I had to make sure we was on a whole different level this season. With the first game of the season approaching, I had to update the drip. I had to change the cleats because I felt like Nike was rocking with your boy, man. You know, we was in talks for the NIL deal and commercials and things of that nature for comeback player of the year. But hey, let's not disregard the improvements of my ability from carrying, ball accuracy, power, um, being able to get some of my abilities back. I ain't gonna say too much. I'm gonna let you guys see my talent at full effect, but it is what it is, man. We're gonna dive into this first game. Let's get it. So we live here the first game of the season. <laughs> live in Auburn. Go up against Colorado and them boys. I'm talking about Shadur, Travis Hunter, and all them other kids that's on the team. But anyways, my first four games before I got hurt and my last four games of the last season. I feel like I'm on pace but not up to par. My completion rating definitely needs some improvement. So this is up and coming season. I will be making sure I make the right reach, the right place. And look at the nice run for my boy Hunter. Fighting for them yards that he's trying to get. Five, six of them things right there, man. That boy Hunter remind me of CMC, bro. Christian McCaffrey back in college break. This boy know how to make somebody miss a tackle. This boy know how to make a play. I swear to Bob on everything. As I drop back in that pocket, throwing a ball deep off the deep post. Finding Burton the second off the 32-yard reception. Look at the ball placement. I told y'all I've been working on that deep ball accuracy. You better believe me. First pass was completed. Second pass was completed. As we get right to the goal line on the one yard line. Play action. Leaving out of the pocket, throwing it up, and it was a touch. Touchdown? Was it a touchdown? They said there was multiple flags down. Don't know who was called on. And it's good. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it was rough enough passer. You feel me? Like, like they made the right call. I put the ball where it needed to be. And we got a toddy. You feel me? But as Colorado did come out there, you know, they tried to march down the field, got into field goal range. And them boys somehow made some plays happen and end up putting some points on the board. So with the game being 7-7, seven to seven, we were starting off this drive on the one-yard line. As we try to get our back off the wall. The boys came in, got a tackle with a flag, and that was crazy. Cause regardless, even if he got out of the end zone, it was a safety. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
So being down nine and seven, pressure is on us right now. Jumping back in that pocket, right over the defense, putting the ball where it needed to be. One thing I'm grateful about this team that I got some big targets. I can put the ball in the air and they're gonna go get it. Right there, across the middle. Picking up the first down off the tackle. Nice little reception right there, man. You feel me? So dropping back in that pocket. See if everyone they got a mismatch with the safety. And it's a toddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get right. Look at that ball placement. Oh my goodness. I told y'all I'm going to be in my zone this season. I told y'all. Exposing the cover two defense. Man's got exposed. City couldn't get over there in time. And we got a touchdown. We got the lead right back. You love to see it. Nice little five point lead. As Colorado did come out there once again trying to fight. Them boys got a 16 to 14 lead right now. Jumping back in our pocket feeling comfortable. Breaking the pocket getting the first down and some. Look at the nice little rush right there. Five attempts for 34 yards. Something light. But once again, I felt the pressure, and I had to break the pocket, and I was gone, bro. I hit the outside skirts, got some great blocks from my teammates, and got in the end zone for a tutty. Let's get right. I feel amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you, I feel so much mobile. I lost a lot of the weight that I, I had gained from being injured and just eating and being depressed, but now I'm back better than ever. Even us being down by 10, I felt the pressure. So I left the pocket, broke in the sack right there. Ended up getting stopped for a one-yard gain. But I stayed composed. It's plenty of time on that clock. Dropping back in that pocket. I threw a pass across the middle and he got picked. On third and long, your boy got desperate and threw a pick. By Travis Hunter, too? Oh, man. <laughs> I tried to avoid him all game. I was breaking down his zone. And it didn't matter, bro. Shout out to the defense for stepping up. Make sure they got the stop. Actually converted a turnover, which got us the ball right back. And you see my boy Hunter doing what he got to do, man. But I had to take some chances. Switch it up. Throw out some different looks and took a scramble. Breaking a pocket. Oh, my good Look at the juke. <laughs> Just moving these chains in a zone. Even though we're in field goal range, we got to come out with a touchdown, bro. We got to cut it down to a one possession game no matter what. Nice little option play right there. They fell for it. Nice little opening to the end zone. Just catching in that check. Braxton Banks. Doing what I got to do for the team. One possession game, and We had to make sure we had to stop on Colorado. With five minutes in ticking, the boys moving them chains once again, bro. Applying that pressure as they did come out with a field goal. Six-point game, two minutes in ticking. I'm dotting this team up. I swear to Bob, bro. I was in a whole different mode, bro. I was exposing defenses. Look at that. Over the top. Moving these chains once again. Getting to Colorado territory on the 24 yard line, dropping back in that pocket. I'm feeling the pressure with nothing open. Looked off the defense, finding my man for a first down. That's all that mattered on the 15 yard line. One timeout, 35 seconds and ticking. I had to make sure I make something happen. Pressure applied. I ended up getting sacked. I got sacked. Came back out there on second and 11, and I got hit. Oh my goodness. At this point, we had no choice but to go for the end zone. So I dropped back in that pocket. Called the four verticals. No pressure was applied. Threw it over the defense and got a touchdown. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> My boy Fayweather with the tutty. Second on the night. You feel me? Your boy got I told y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all about that accuracy. Look at that ball placement. Ain't that, was, was, that, was that Sanders right there? Sanders zone got exposed for the game? That's, how, that, that's, that's one way of making that comeback was down two possessions in the fourth quarter. Made a major comeback, defense made a stop. Marched down that field and took the lead right back. That's what I'm talking about. But that was just only week one. <laughs> that was only just week one. But week two, we had Georgia on the schedule. You know how that go. Them Georgia Bulldogs really like that chat. They are really like that, but that's besides the point. I'm not afraid of nobody. I feel in real confidence. I dropped back in that pocket. You already know putting that ball placing in front of my boy Burton the second. Right there on the sidelines. Picking up that first down. Back-to-back -back games. 20 plus yards on the first attempt. And back-to-back -back games. The running back combo is just looking amazing. Moving the chains at will. Jumping back in that pocket. I decided to go ahead and throw the ball deep. In front of my open man for a catch. As he doing crazy right now. <laughs> Burton the second is doing what he got to do to move these chains, chat. On the first and goal. I try to do a nice little option play. Get to the end zone, but they snatch your boy back on the one yard line. I'm sick. <laughs> like, y'all could have let me get in the end zone. 
But anyways, we'll go ahead and punch it in, my boy Hunter. Once again, you already know, he will lead the league in touchdowns this season. You feel me? A.K.A. Christian McCaffrey, I told y'all before. But as we got a 7-0 lead, leaving the pocket again, finding my dog fade whether as he catches the ball and some. Like, it's my tight end is my favorite targets on the team. Like, I got decent receivers, but between Fairweather and my boy Deal, I have no idea who's my favorite target. They just make so many plays. Off the nice little handoff, Hunter moving the chains once again. Getting to the 14-yard line. Five attempts, 20 yards in a tutty. That's light. But finding my boy Deal for the tutty. Let's get right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do, 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 do. No, I'm, just playing, I'm, just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Hey, y'all got to chill, bro. For you guys that get it, get it, bro. The old Vine days that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Do, 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 do. That's, the, that's the song I was referring, bro. Chill. But anyways, man, advancing the game, bro. Georgia down by 14. We looking amazing. On the second half of the game, I'm in that pocket. Dropping back once again. Hunter wide open. Splitting open the defense right now. Off to the races. They end up getting hulked down to the 10-yard line. <laughs> Hunter, you got to score that next time. But anyways, ain't a big deal. Man, that boy deal in that zone. Getting up touchdown. Looking like that boy Gronk. You feel me? <laughs> looking like that boy Gronk. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo. <laughs> that boy deal be wilding out. <laughs> the way we was in the zone. Locked in. Going crazy. Was like the new standard for the team. We locked in. Literally. Mentally, physically, I love it. But I can't even lie. The Georgia Bulldogs did come out there marching. They did start fighting. They made a nice little comeback, making it a one possession game. So with five minutes in ticking, I had to put the game in my hands. Right there, like I said, that boy 100 yards make people miss. Not one, but two people miss and get the first down. You, you love to see it. So off the play action right here, I drop back in that pocket. Trying to find my man somewhere. That's right there, he gets the catch. Pick on the first down. Moving the chains once again. That boy Brown is nice, bro. He ain't the biggest target, but he got a whole lot of heart. So I decided to go ahead and hand the ball to that boy Hunter as he moving the chains. Decided to put my boy Austin in. As he got a nice little handoff. Right up the middle, getting to the end zone. And calling that game. <laughs> Just packing up the Georgia Bulldogs. You love to see it. You know they had some great efforts trying to make a comeback. We walked away victorious. 35 to 21. We was in the zone, man. I'm telling y'all, this run was just something special. It was something special to see. With us being undefeated on this season, with win after win after win, we had a tough game up on the schedule. It was the Michigan Wolverines. Now I'm not gonna lie. The world saying they one of the best teams in the nation. And I feel like I was up for the challenge. I need to be tested. I need to understand, were they really them boys that they keep talking about? Are we really good as we expected to be? So I drop back in that pocket. Finding my guy off the first snap. You already know, man. As Michigan did chew up a lot of that clock on that first possession. Walking away with three points. We come out there. I'm dying things up. Exposing the defense right now because they run a lot of zone coverage. As a defensive scheme wasn't working for them at first, they finally end up getting your boy, bro. Showing a lot of different schemes on defense. I ain't know what to do. A four-man rush finally got to your boy, and I ain't gonna lie. Nothing was working, bro. They was locking up everything downfield, and it was a problem. <laughs> Since we did get into field goal range, we did not score because our man missed a 49-yard field goal. <laughs> and from that point on, things was getting a little weird. So as Michigan did march down the field once again, converting another field goal, I found my man wide open, over the top, exposed to that cover two, and almost got a touchdown. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so as we are in their territory, on the two-yard line, decided to run a play action, found my man wide open in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. <laughs> once again, my favorite target, Rivaldo Fayweather. Getting a touchdown against Michigan, and I was feeling so confident. I'm like, oh, yeah, we going crazy. <laughs> we going to go crazy. And then Michigan got the ball, and they marched right downfield and responded with a touchdown for themselves. So, with being down six, four minutes left in the second quarter, I'm in that pocket being patient, finding my man over the top. But that Michigan defense was not allowing that to happen, bro. They pass backups was just amazing. Like, they was so annoying. Then I'm getting the pressure with no receiver in the area. I had to throw the ball away, and I ended up throwing an interception. <laughs> I was about I'm just taking a second at that point, bro. 
But I did have a wide open receiver deep in the middle, but the point I threw it off to my back leg, it went so short and it was just an interception, bro. Like, I am sick. And from that point on, the game really done changed. Cause we was down two possessions at that point. Michigan defense was stepping up. They was applying all types of pressure. They was in all types of blitzes. And nothing to open down the field. I had to take the ball in and get a couple yards myself. On second and five, right? It wasn't enough. Cut y'all back. Took the ball in once again. Pick up the first down. You already know I had to swoop. Just put the defense right there, man. Move these chains. I had to do all I can to make something happen, bro. Because their defense was locking up everything, chat. And right there over the middle, front of my mans. As he's getting inside the goal line. Drop it back once again. Oh, my goodness. Perfect ball. Placement. You love to see it, Faye Weather. Once again, getting a tutty. Second on the day, too, as well. Like, you guys got to understand, like, if you look at this replay, that pass was on the money. Look at the patience. Look at the placement. Underrated. And then, of course, Michigan got the ball once again. With a nine-point lead, pressure was on us. In a terrible situation, on a seven-yard line, off the play action. Thought I had something working for myself, but the pressure got to your boy. Ended up getting sacked. Losing two yards off the first down. Y'all thought that was bad. On second and 12, thought we could split up the defense, you know, make something happen. But the double team, you ended up getting exposed. I got stripped. And they could have recovered the fumble for a touchdown, but we recovered it, laid on the ball, and just got a safety. <laughs> a safety. Like, are you serious? And at that point, like, we got packed up. We finally got exposed. Weeks after just winning, feeling overconfident, passing the quizzes, but we failed the test against one of the best teams in the nation. And I don't like that. Because I feel like we still was able to compete. We just couldn't make the executions. So during exam week, we did a little simple non-contact practices. You know, working on the goal line snaps, making sure everybody knows exactly where they need to be. And for me, I had to work on my ball placement once again. How to get sharper, how to get better, how to get quicker. And that was most important. Because me being the leader of the team, I had to make sure I was sharp as a knife. No, 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 no. I had to be on point like a needle. Yeah, yeah, I like that better. You know what? N never mind, bro. We had a good practice, though. So after bouncing back from that discouraging loss from Michigan, a few weeks later, we had LSU on the schedule. With the guy that claims that he won and wins the Heisman, when I'm out here doing what I'm doing, not converting turnovers, out here throwing these touchdowns, I got a three to one, almost a four to one touchdown to turnover ratio. You guys gotta respect that. I don't turn the ball over at all. On the first play, running an option, end up getting tackled, and they say I fumbled? What? <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> my elbow and my wrist hit the pavement. <laughs> Run the clips back. <laughs> I swear to Bob on me. I ain't lose that ball, bro. That is not a fumble. Look at that. Elbow hit the ground. I am good. <laughs> I am good. Don't play with me. <laughs> Referee make the call. <laughs> Referee make the call right now. Y'all seen too much. <laughs> Give me my ball back. <laughs> so on third and long. In that pocket. In front of my boy Dill. Across the middle. Picking up them racks. <laughs> Picking up them racks. It's so crazy that my tight ends are so dependable. I mean, I know they're a big target. They run a lot of mismatches out there, but hey, they so reliable. Look at over the top. My boy Brown stepping up for the team, moving these chains, running the option play, walking the ball in the end zone, getting a toddy. You love to see I'm putting on. Come on, man. I'm in my bag. Back on the win streak, back doing the big. Going against one of the top teams in the country again. And I'm, I'm loving this situation right now. I mean, we got a nice little lead on LSU. I mean, we was out there throwing all types of different schemes at them, trying to see what works. And I thought, I thought that I outsmarted this team by throwing the ball to my boy. And he got paid. <laughs> I couldn't get the ball there on time. <laughs> I could not get the ball on time. And I'm sick, bro, because he was wide open. But the ball just glided in the air for a little bit too long. I give him sleep. <laughs> the way the said he broke to the ball, bro. That speed that he had towards that ball is crazy. I respect it. But I ain't gonna never forget. I will never forget that again. 
So us having a nine and seven lead right now, because somehow we got a safety on defense, I give it to CMC himself. I said CMC, that's my boy Hunter, my bad. But with 20 seconds in ticking, trying to make something happen, breaking a pocket, not breaking one, but two tackles as I'm moving the chains, getting into the territory of the LSU Tigers, which I'm hyped about, bro. I'm trying to get into a field goal range before the end of the half. 11 seconds in ticking. Double team get exposed once again. Up the middle, defensive tackle getting a sack with two seconds left. Third and 15. I just off my arm strength. Dropping back in that pocket. Stepping up, throwing it deep. And catching the toddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> a Hail Mary. <laughs> I didn't think my arm strength and deep ball accuracy would be on point like that. But it panned out. It panned. You see where I stepped up in that pocket, bro? I stepped up into the protection, splitting the defense right down the middle, and it was a tutty. You gotta respect that chat. If you respect it, hit that thumbs up button on the video. But anyways, follow my man across the middle. Getting the first down right there as he stretched the ball across the first down line. You love to see it. Throwing out a whole bunch of different schemes at the LSU Tigers right there. Running the option, breaking one tackle, but still getting caught behind the line of scrimmage. Struggling. 10 attempts for 40 yards and a tutty. I ain't tripping. Jump back in that pocket. Pressure is on. Breaking out, taking off. Look at the boy. Moving the chains once again. Feeling great, feeling amazing. Is he out there in the cover three defense playing off? We had to break that cushion. We had to break that coverage. Don't need deep and under threw it for a touchdown. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know what the I don't know what he thought. But throwing a back shoulder pass deep in a zone like that for a touchdown is simply amazing. Respect the step through, the ball placement, back shoulder and all. The defender kept running, and it was over. <laughs> Once again, found my boy Brown for a deep target. Used to be Hooks. So I don't know what Hooks been, but Brown definitely has been stepping up this season. I love it, bro. As the Tigers trying to march down the field once again, coming up short, 10-22. to Moving the chains, Hunter right there, picking up a nice catch right there. Super reliable on the, uh, the passing game. I can't even lie. More reliable than the running the game sometimes, but right there, breaking the pocket, trying to fight for these yards. Just a yard short or whatever, but I decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and convert the first down myself. I'm running a quarterback draw. Running a quarterback draw. I broke not one, but two tackles. Now I'm out to the races towards the end zone. With one man to be, he's hulking me. But sadly, he's too slow for your boy. <laughs> breaking a miracle touchdown. I was in the zone, I was going crazy. <laughs> Like, look at this. Broke two tackles in the backfield. I ran a defensive tackle. Safety tried to hulk me. Burn him too and got a, got a toddy. <laughs> you love to see it, bro. Plays like this shows all the hard work that I put in the offseason, bro. All the hard work. I'm talking about the lifting, the cardio, and whatever else I done did in the offseason, man. But pretty much after that crazy touchdown... It was pretty much GG's from that point on, man. It's kind of crazy, like, the events that happened that led to Braxton Banks entering the Heisman watch. It's something to see. The trials and tribulations that I've been through, you couldn't tell me that I wasn't winning the Heisman. I could feel it in arm's reach. All the things that I've been through, the comeback, the recovery, the redemption. I mean, you just got to grade my work, and it's an A+. I mean, look at the course of this season, dominating everybody. Only smudge on my record is, what, Michigan. But everybody else that fell in line, they fell like dominoes. And that's why I'm social media's favorite. And also number one in the nation to win the Heisman. I gotta maintain this. There's two games left for this season. And by these means, I gotta go crazy. So as Miami did start off with the bottom, boys came out with nothing. Immediately you start running an option play, trying to break something loose. And right there, getting wrapped up in that backfield, trying to get some plays to happen. Miami defense is nothing to play with. As I drop back center, right there, finding my man's wide open. Pick up the first down, moving the chains. My boy Burton in third. As we decided to run an option play once again, and we sold it. Breaking loose to the outside, getting a nice block. And we out of here. Off to the races, getting to the end zone, get a touchdown. Yes, sir. <laughs> I told you, I'm not playing with these boys, man. By any means, I got to get that Heisman. And as you guys see, the Miami Hurricanes did respond pretty quickly. But before I stepped over that line of scrimmage, finding my boy Brown coming across that field, picking 
10 yards and some. As we get that first down once again, bruh. Drop it back in the center. Trying to sit in that pocket. Pressure is on. I end up getting sacked. <laughs> Losing 16 yards off the drop back, bruh. Now we got to find our way to just manage this situation. Dropping back, getting pressure once again. Now it's third and 26. And there's only so many few plays that you can choose from. Dropping back with the four verticals. Man going across the middle. Right there over the defense. Connected with my tight end, Luke Dill, right there as we pick up the first down. Decided to run the option play. Sold it. Once again as I hit the open field up. Running down. Boom! Chunking that cornerback right over as I cross the first down line. Now, as we got momentum, I'll drop back center. Break the pocket for my man's wide open for a touchdown. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get right. This time connected with my dog, Fairweather, as he is one of my biggest targets on the team and very efficient, you feel me? Very reliable. And I, I, I just love that man's, bro. I just love that man's. He's very consistent. But right there, across the middle, Luke Deal picking up a nice, you know, a nice amount of yards right there off, off the little cross route. But jumping back. Off the play action, again, same spot, different receiver. You love to see it, 9 for 11 for 140 and a tutty. I'm out here doing my thing right now, connected again, Luke Deal. It's such a big deal when it comes to this offense, bro. He makes plays. And you already know me, I love running an option play. But as I break the pocket, get into the end zone once again. <laughs> for my second touchdown. It wasn't an option play, but I had to scramble out of that pocket. Do what I needed to do, put the team up ahead, and we just looking so good against the freaking Hurricanes. To think everybody in the nation believes that I am the Heisman winner, and I know it's just uh, opinions and a few statements being made out there, but it's about to be a pure fact that I deserve it. As you guys can see, my boy Hunter picking up a nice amount of yards off that rush right there. See, 4 for 25, dropping back in that pocket once again, and I end up getting sacked. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That was my mistake. I should have stepped up in the pocket. To try to extend the play right there. But look at this. And I'm throwing the pick. Trying to be greedy. Went to the same play as last time when it was third and long. And committing a turnover, bro. I can't be making these type of mistakes. What am I doing, man? It was too obvious. The route was red. And I tried to fit it right in that window, bro. <laughs> Might look like Dak Prescott. <laughs> Forcing passes to get intercepted. But as the score is 21 and 10, we out here got to do something. Running an option play, getting these great blocks. And I'm getting picked up that first down and some. You love to see it. Nine rushes for 85 yards and two tutties. You can't debate, man. I am such amazing. Came out here in Auburn doing my thing. And right there, should have connected with my receiver, but the pass was deflected. Great defense. He wasn't going for it, but I had a target. I had to find my man Brown off the comeback route. What a dive. Yes, sir. <laughs> My boy came in going ham. I think I targeted him like four, five times this game. Only got like one or two completions. You love to see it. You love to see it. But with a 28 to 17 lead right now, my boy Hunter just moving the chains off the rush. 48 yards off of six touches. Oh, man. Buddy going crazy. And right there again, finding him as a receiver this time. Pick up the first down and some, as I like to say. Drop it back in that pocket. Reading the routes. I'm getting pressure. And look at this. I was out here making plays, being pressured. That Miami defense was really out here doing their thing. I mean, they were trying to kill me. I'm talking about I'm getting banged up. Booming and banging every single play. And they got what they wanted. <laughs> A freaking fumble. <laughs> and they got Tommy with the recovery. Off to the races. We getting hauled down. <laughs> Get that fat man. <laughs> it was only so much beating that I could take before some dramatic happened, bro. And Miami Hurricanes try to make an ultimate comeback, but gratefully, our defense stepped up, made sure that clock was wasted, and we walked out of here victorious. Winning 28 to 23 as we headed to our last game of the season before we clinch the freaking college playoffs, man. Coming out here to Michigan, well prepared. Highly influenced, fully developed. I'm ready for the situation, bro. I know these are like the same Michigan team that we lost to, but I gotta take out that that pain, that hunger, and, 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 and uh, yeah, uh, against these Michigan State uh, Spartans, bro. Like they gotta catch this work off the rip, running the option and play. I almost pick up the first down on the first attempt. I'm telling y'all, when I came out, that was not playing with these dudes, bro. I'm in that pocket, patient. 
shredding their defense, making plays that it needed to happen. I mean, I'm just exposing everything. Reading the cover two, reading the cover three, running the option and play, and look at this, man. Went in the end zone with a stiffy. Wait, 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 wait. That was sounding kind of wild, but y'all don't let me cook. Y'all don't let me cook. Y'all got to look at that replay one time. Like, bro, that cornerback got stiff on him. Like, I was freaking Derek Henry. I go crazy. Look at this. Hook. Huh, that man off of me. Imagine the Heisman doing the Heisman to get into the end zone the last game of the season. You got to respect it, bro. Like, look at that, bro. Put his face in that motherfucking dirt. No, I thought I was going to cuss. I don't, I don't cuss on my commentary. The kids is watching. You never know who's watching. The parents, the kids, whoever. But I'm just, <laughs> I'm, just I'm trolling. I'm trolling. But if you guys enjoyed this, man, hit that thumbs up button. Because your boy didn't develop his accuracy. This wasn't that deep, but it was deep. First play of that next drive, I connected with my guy. <laughs> off the first play, my boy Sean off the freaking. Yes, sir. <laughs> Bullet pass to O'Reilly. I don't even know who that is for real. He might be a, a freshman, sophomore. Who knows? But he came out here to play, he made a play, and he was off to the racing gun in the end zone. He did his job. You feel me? <laughs> As we take a 24-0 lead against the Michigan State. Oh my goodness. This boy's going out sad. Running the option play once again. Off to the boom! <laughs> off to the race. The boys couldn't touch me for real, bruh. Get the boys off me. I've been in that weight room. I did my thing. Look at me just straight in that defense in that pocket going crazy. <laughs> Connected with my receivers. Only got, what, six incompletes on the day so far. 16 for 22. First and 10. My boy Camden Brown got 22 yards. I'm dropping him back. I'm talking to him for a tutty. <laughs> right back, back to back. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, hey, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> but we did Michigan State so bad. We in 38 to 7. It was no point showing the remainder of the game, bro. Like, we did them boys dirty. Now I'm telling you, last game of the season, I feel like I proved it. I was worth every single vote that they submitted. That I am the true Heisman Trophy winner. I deserve it. I went crazy, man. I mean, through all the trials and tribulations, I bounced back better than ever. Won the Heisman with my right hand man's, my mom, out here, you know, support me and everything. I mean, the celebration was just beautiful. Went on a good night show, you know what I'm saying? Told everybody how I felt about it. And, what my emotions was throughout the season and how it was when I finally got the trophy. But I was so locked in, I was ready for the playoff game. We had to go play against Bama. Now with one team in the way from that national championship was the freaking Crimson Tide. It, it was one team that I wanted to avoid, but somehow they made it. But I got a point to prove that it won't be easy. Even hosting these guys at home, it would be one of the biggest game I ever played in. As we came out there on the first drive, handing the ball off, back up, running back, doing his thing, you know, moving the chains. Austin, pick up the first down right there. Decided to run a little play action right here. My boy Hunter, dropping back. Pick up the first down, my boy Luke Deal. Oh, wee. You love to see him catch the ball, bro, because he know how to move the chains. Dropping back once again on third and 13. Bang, connected with my guy over the top. Fayward, I told you, he's so dependable. Moving the chains once again as I felt the pressure up the middle and decided to go ahead and break the pocket. Moving the chains, stretching, getting to that freaking territory. Boom! <laughs> Running over their <they> safety. <laughs> I'm too big for these goofies, bro. I'm built for tough. Dropping back on third and nine, man. They getting us on a couple stops. They breaking up passing plays. But look at this. I got to do what I do. As I get in chase down, I'm throwing freaking tutties. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Luke Deal, what a. You already know the freaking vibes, man. You already know how I am under the pressure. I throw dots. I throw dots. As my boy digging his feet down, full control of the ball. You love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it, man. They don't make him like me no more. <laughs> Like, the, the accuracy is just, it's crazy seeing it being developed over the course of the season. And yeah, man, Chris and Ty try to come right back on the other end and do something. But I'm not going to lie. The remainder of the game was a bunch of three and outs and things of that nature. It's your boy was just getting, I was under punishment, bro. That defense was going crazy, shutting down a whole lot. As we've been scoreless since the first quarter. Bama just knocking down field goals. Four of them to be, of course. But 
as we get to the fourth to oh my god bro like that defense was getting so physical it was annoying like i had to get back to what i know and that was to break that pocket i had to do what i do to make the team win and look at this i'm off to the races blowing right past him picking up some yards getting down to the 31 bro we needed a score. I had 13 rushes for over 100 yards, bro. This Crimson Tide defense was so tough, bro. They were so physical. I mean, every hit felt like a hit stick. It was just painful to be out there. On fourth and four, pressure was on. And I wanted to pass it so bad, but I couldn't afford nobody to drop the pass or just get the pass breaking up. So I tucked it in myself. Picked up that first down. Ended up being in the side of the red zone. 12-7. to seven. Dropping back. See my guy in the back of the end zone for a tutty. <laughs> I told y'all, bro. The passing actually just got so much better over this season. I'm putting the ball where it needed to be. Very, very small window. I don't know how he just... I don't know, man. I got to give Fairweather his credit. But yeah, man. We did take the lead. And now I'm going to chance to go, you know, three points with a two-point conversion. Dropping back. Bama defense on the blitz. I'm right there connecting with my guy going across the middle. You love to see it. <laughs> Once again, my boy Brown coming up in the clutch. As we had a three-point lead, we got to stop these boys from marching down the field. And I can't say our defense held up, man. Our defense held up. We walked out victorious for a low-scoring 15-12 victory over Alabama. I can't believe that like, we held these boys down to only 12 points. Four field goals. Uh, Alabama? Four field That's it? And now we headed to the national championship, man. Let's go. So as we get here at the national championship, I feel so motivated. I, I, I'm so confident headed into this game. Like, I believe that we got the right team to do what we need to do in this game. Because we ain't come this far to lose. Like, I, I'm, that's not a part of the story. Like, it's just not going to happen. But starting off with the ball first. You know what type of time we on, man. <laughs> Gotta run the option and play, and I ain't gonna lie. I didn't believe it worked. Look at that block. <laughs> Off to the races. On the first play of the game, man, is a tutty. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get right. Ain't waste no time. 13 seconds, we was already in the end zone, bro. Just like in real life, you know, the Washington was just getting killed by the run game. But that's besides the point. The boys responded pretty quickly. What's in about like four minutes on the clock, getting to the end zone themselves. And you see my boy Hunter moving their chains. You're a team leader in touchdowns besides me. He's right there going crazy. And look at my boy, Luke Deal, picking up like, what, 20 yards on that pass right there? Sitting in that pocket patient, breaking the pocket, pick up the first down, all type of contact and all. Keeping the ball on tuck. I believe. Dropping back in that pocket once again. Have my guy right there on the outside. Who's that, Brown? I, I think that's Brown. If it ain't Brown, it's my bad. If it's not Brown, it's my bad. But you already know what type of time we are. <laughs> not one, but two times in the national championship. It's your boy ran the option for a tutty. <laughs> Braxton Banks cash me in. You feel me? Oh my god, we out here doing something. I don't know, I don't know what was just happening, but anyways. As we advance further into the game, we are in the second quarter. Drop back off the play action. Reading the reading the field. I'm about to say reading the court. Reading the field right there, you know. Nice little dump down for like what six yards, you feel me? But I can't lie, man. This drive was put together pretty well. I mean, even with a light pressure. Moving the pocket. Find my man's on the sidelines. He picked up the first down. 8 for 10 for 87 yards. My boy Moore, off the play action once again. Look at this placement. Could have went for a tutty, but you know we get down to the four-yard line. On that goal line, trying to go crazy, trying to do something. As they do send a blitz, watch it come off the edge. <laughs> Getting a sack right there, sending us to a third and long. Third and nine on the goal line, we come right back. I'm feeling confident, I ain't worried about nothing. Just trying to see something. As they send a pressure once again with a three-man rush. Pocket collapsing, and I throw another tutty. <laughs> For my boy Burton, the third, you know, the senior. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, he might be qualified to enter the NFL draft. If not, hope my boy graduate this year. You feel me? Like, that's what's most important. Keep your head in them books, man. Keep your head in them books. But anyways, man, as we got a nice little 21-7 lead against Washington, and this is one of the passes you wish that you can have back. Like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was right there, and I overthrew my man's. Highly expecting him to do some more than that, but 
came right back doing what I need to do with a perfect ball placement. And you know I gotta let my dog shine, right? My boy Hunter gotta get that ball, running up the middle, zigzagging through the defense and getting a touchdown. They can't stop my boy Hunter? They talking about, man. What I called him before? I called my boy Christian McCaffrey Jr., bro. He really liked that. And just when I was getting cocky out there, my boy Hunter was targeted. Should have caught that one. But why do I thought I had a man wide open? I ended up throwing the end of the reception to the linebacker, bro. I did not see him sitting tucked under the defense, bro. Like, I was paying attention downfield, looking at the cross route. He was right there just, just lurking, bro. Like, which gave Washington the momentum to make a comeback. It's only 28 to 20 now, and I'm off to the races once again. <laughs> and to get back to what I know, oh my god, look at that juke. Breaking loose. I tried to run some out blockers, couldn't get away. <laughs> Moving the chains, man. Off of seven rush, he got 150 yards, man. We gotta do something. Try to target my man down deep as the pass was broken up, bro. Washington was building up so much momentum, bro. The crowd was getting loud, and I'm dropping back, getting pressure for a sack. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. And it was getting scary because Washington did march down that field and tie that game up. 28 to 28. The boys did come down and get that two point conversion to work. Try to go back to what I know, which is that option in play. I had to shift the momentum back our way. I mean, I was lit. I was locked in. And I was determined to walk out here victorious. It was no way I was going to blow this lead. I'm not no goofy, so I'm breaking the pocket once again. In front of my man's deep. Luke Deal breaking the tackle after converting a nice first down. My boy was really in his bag, and look at this. See my boy Hunter up the middle. Nice target. Put a nice catch. Get into that goal line, you feel me? Now I'm on that seven. Tell my boy Burton to run the Ziggy, which is that Tyreek Hill route. Right to the pipeline for a nice tutty. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Giving us the momentum in the lead, bro. It's two minutes left. At this point, we just got to depend on the defense to get the stop, bro. We cannot let Washington march down the field and get a victory. Or at least try to game up the force of overtime, bro. Not today, man. I can't go. So as Washington did get the ball back, they marched that field pretty quickly. I can't lie. But on a 35-yard line, pass was getting broken up. And now we're in victory stands, kneeling the ball out. <laughs> And now, the Auburn Tigers are the national freaking champions. Yes, sir. <laughs> I couldn't believe all the stuff that we went through in this season, bro. The way we got exposed by Michigan Wolverines, bounced back, got even better, expanded the playbook to go on a crazy run and win a national championship. Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> Heisman National Championship. You already know what's next, man. We're going to enter that draft, dominate the combine, go number one overall, and be lit. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you heard, but they got Braxton Banks, the, 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 the kid down there in Auburn, that came back from the career in the injury. He's on his one-check combine. Not two years ago, when he went down, you could never tell me that he would ever made it this far. But that young brother got heart. That young brother is brave. That young brother deserves it. The Heisman, the National Championship, and damn sure the invitation to the NFL come out because that brother shows more determination than any player that I have seen over this past couple years. Caleb Williams, a great player. But if I was the Chicago Bears, I'm picking Braxton Banks. I'm sorry, Caleb Williams, you would be a giant. And as for me, I'm Stephen A. Smith, and I'm out. Welcome back to coverage of the NFL Draft Combine. The quarterbacks are in action here today, and right out in front there, leading the rest of the QBs onto the field, is one of the most intriguing prospects in this year's draft. I came into that draft combine on a whole different level, a whole different mindset. I was doing my thing out there. Physically, I felt amazing. You guys don't understand, like, I felt faster, stronger. Spiritually, my spirits was real high as well. Like, coming to the combine, I had pictures to the media at all. At least on social media like Twitter, Instagram, and all that nonsense. But I did listen to that Stephen A. podcast because he always had my back since the beginning. So when I came into that combine, I had something to prove. I had to let everybody know that I am him. I came back from a career in the injury. Got my starting position back. 
stole the Heisman, and won a national championship? You can't tell me I don't deserve to be the number one draft pick in the upcoming draft, bruh. We've got the next generation of NFL stars waiting to hear their names called. And this is shaping up to be one of the most unpredictable first rounds in recent memory. Big day's finally here. Can't beat that draft night feeling. Hey, life is good, Natalie. I'm at the NFL draft. Pretty crazy knowing my whole life is about to change. What a feeling you won't be waiting much longer. Making moves over there? Man, she called a shot. Hey, coach. So after the demise of Justin Fields, you know, being traded to the Falcons and all, the Chicago took a time to draft your boy over Caleb Williams. Now that's crazy because they were so high on Caleb Williams all year, but I took it. I took his spot and I feel like I am the right piece. Similar to Justin Fields, but I'm a little more better in that pocket. I got a little better accuracy on my passes and things of that nature, you feel me? Chicago did a great move by moving Justin Fields. Got us two weapons in the draft, bro. Because it ain't just me. They got picked up in that draft. We also have DJ Moore. But in that seventh pick, they also drafted Marvin Harrison Jr. I don't know how he felt so deep into the draft. Well, he only fell to the seven, but that's crazy to me, bro. Because we about to go crazy. It's week one of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Titans and the Bears. And it comes your way next on... So coming out there for my very first snap in the NFL, I ain't gonna lie, I was kind of nervous. Handing the ball up to the running back as he picked up a few yards, moving the chains. I ain't know what to expect, bro. I ain't know what type of defense they're gonna send at your boy, but look at my first completion. For my man's on the sideline for a first down. Coming out there in that four verticals, decided to audible to that mesh. Dropping back in that pocket. You already know reading the floor. Right there, should have connected with Marvin Harrison Jr., bro. As it was incompleted right off his hands. Now look at the draft, bro. That's kind of crazy. Like, we got me and Martha Harrison Jr. in the same draft. It's right there connected with the tight ends. He picked up the first down. Third and inches. But we even converting that. Did the QB sneak. That's besides the point. But them boys in the blitz of the boy. <laughs> Wrapping me up in that backfield. I am asleep. <laughs> Marcus Peters, bro. Anyways, man. The Titans came back out there, right? They doing their thing. They scoring back-to-back -back drives, doing what they need to do, bro. On the road, showing out. We move into the second quarter, right? Down 14 points. I'm dropping back in that pocket, trying to connect with my guy, Marvin Harrison Jr. As we pick up the first down. Six foot eight for 60 yards, bro. I'm doing my thing. And don't ask me, bro. Man, don't got that boy Marvin Harrison with his dreads. But look at your boy, DJ Moore. Catching the pass right there for 20 plus yards as we are in that territory right now on the goal line. First and seven. You already know we dropping back. And I got the pressure on me. Once again, up the middle. I'm breaking out to the pocket. And I'm gone. All the way to the end zone for my first toddy. And what type of celebration is this? Hey, hey, Madden, bro. What the hell is this? Come on, man. But finally getting the team on the board. As we got a minute and 35 seconds left of the first half, you already know, man. They're going to send them blitzes. Or I already know, bro. They're going to try to get us a nice little safety, but we ain't going for it. Jump back in that pocket. I'm stepping up. I'm scrambling, picking up about seven on that scramble right there, bro. And I ain't going to lie. Nothing worse than having a terrible O-line. Look at this. I got no time. <laughs> Once again, I'm getting sacked. Like, come on, bro. Let me freaking cook, bro. Give me time to let me cook. But as we did end up getting a turnover on the Tennessee Titans, we're in great field position. And me being greedy, 20 seconds on that clock, I tried to go deep, chap. I tried to find my boy Kimmy. And I end up throwing a freaking pig. Oh my 
goodness. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, why did I, 20 seconds? I know I had time, I had timeouts and things of that nature, but it was no point for me being gritty, but as we advance further into the game, on the third quarter, trying to run an option play, them boys wrap me up. They was not going for none of these scrambles, bro. They was not trying to let me eat. Drop it back, second and, third and 13. <laughs> It's third and 13 at this point, bro. And I'd be damned to lose my first game. So I locked in, bro. I told coach, let me control the game. I drop back in that pocket. Marvin Harrison Jr. Picking up that first down right there. I'm out here about to cook. You feel me? I'm talking about play after play. I made plays. You feel me? Second and 12. Dropping back. I feel pressure in front of my mans. Whew. You see that dot, my boy? Picking up that first down again. Marvin Harrison Jr. This is all Justin Fields needed. He just needed some weapons, you feel me? But in front of my boy, Herbert, no Justin. Right there, pick up that first down once again, bro. Moving these chains. Down 10 points. Playing time on that clock. Running that play action in the front of my boy, DJ Moore. Let's get it. Making a one possession game. I'm feeling good. The crowd is getting to the game. We just need the crowd and the defense to step up, you feel me? I mean, we committed, what, two or three turnovers on the Titans already, which put us in a great position. And once again, we got to stop, man. 533 left on that clock. Running that play action. Nope, it's a nice option to play. Juking that man's out. Pick him that first down and some. Just moving these chains. You love to see it. Like, coach, let me get deep in that playbook, bro. I'm a cook. You feel me? Like, I got the qualities. I got the weapons. I got the abilities to make those passes right there. My boy... Chart Jr. moving these chains. God damn, that boy got slammed. But we good. We good. On the 32 yard line, second and 15. You know, your boy, your boy, your boy tried to make a run play. It, it didn't work out. We, we ain't gonna even show that, bro. But I'm in that pocket, bro. I gotta go crazy now. I gotta put on for the city one time. Moving outside the pocket under pressure, just moving the chains. Third and six. Putting the team in field goal range. But I gotta trust my weapons. Drop back in that pocket. Connected off the post. Routes. Marvin Harrison Jr. That, that, that ain't no touchdown? Bro, what? Oh, he got called short. He got called short. That should have been a tutty. That should have been a He got to stretch that ball out, bro. Look at this. Oh, it was so close. His knee went down right before, but handing the ball to Herbert as you go up the middle for a touchdown. Giving us that lead. Let's get it. Come on, man. <laughs> Amazing comeback. I'm telling you, the defense stepped up. Offense started making plays. And yeah, man. And, and once again, bro, just, just when we needed a team to hold it down, they committed another turnover. So now we're at a point where we're in their territory, trying to run out the clock. When they still got two timeouts, and you already know, but we're trying to hand the ball over on the option plays, and right there, I could have fumbled, but I didn't. So don't question me, you feel me? But on that third and 11, I'm in the option play once again. I ran him. You can't touch me. Off to the races, trying to get to that freaking end zone. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Doom boys couldn't touch me. I am nice. And I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty much all she wrote you feel me because the game is at this point out of reach two possession game late in that fourth quarter and yeah, man walk away victorious for my first game you love it but yeah man i like to say it's pretty much wraps time to start a whole new character so stay tuned in for that like subscribe do all that good stuff and i am out you dig